Okay, I'm going to do the Project Life page, and I'm using number three from our series. It has four four by six spots for photos and three four by four pieces for the center. I'm going to use a grid card. I'm going to use the um, card base that was the triangles, and I'm going to use the pool party um, paper. Um, I'm also going to use, I gave Zoe, um, let me back up a little bit. Zoe's birthday was yesterday. She was so excited all day long. Well, Jess had planned to give her a fairy house and to have the fairy come live with her. So she bought a fairy house, it's a little tiny one, at um, Joanne Fabrics. And then she typed up a note in little tiny handwriting and all to Zoe saying that she was coming to live with Zoe and she'll be dropping off things over the next few days. Jess is going to make some things. And that she would hope that she would find a nice place in her room for her to stay. Zoe's comment was, I need to clean up my room, which is true. So last night we went out to dinner. Before we left... Jess, Zoe was already in the car, Remy was in the car, I was in the car. We were all sitting and Jess was dropping off stuff because they spent the day at um, the other grandmother's yesterday. So Jess was um, fooling around with some uh, stuff in the house, getting stuff in. And she took the fairy house and the little note and she set it outside our garage. I have a cinder block sitting there on the cinder block. Well, when we came home from dinner last night, Zoe went berserk. She was so excited. She brought the house in along with the note. She would not stop talking for Jess to read the note. It was so funny. Jess kept saying, listen to what it says. Just wait a minute. So she was so excited about it. So I thought this would be perfect page to use for her um, scrapbook. So I'm going to put pictures on here of her over the next few days putting it together. So I chose these colors and she has a set and I can't find it so I've got to get her to get it for me of Tinkerbell fairy type um, stamps that I had given her because she loves to stamp with me. So I'm starting to build her own supply up so she can use her stuff and not mine. So I couldn't find it but that's my goal is to stamp some of those and color them and to use them throughout. So what I did was I mounted, cut down the card base and mounted it on four by four paper and I put it in here and those will go on each side. And then I took my grid card and I turned it sideways, my journaling card, and it wasn't long enough. So I took a piece because when you cut this off, you've got extra left over. I took a piece and put it underneath of there to make it even, and that's where my journaling will be. Now, like I said, I'm going to do some cutting out, uh, stamping and coloring of the fairies, and then I'll cut them out and have them on here, and I'll come back and show you the finished one when it's done. Hi, ladies. I, If you remember, I ended with this, and I told you I was going to... Um, do some fairies to put on my pocket for the cards. I have them done. So I'm probably going to glue these onto the outside of the pocket, probably in a configuration like this. You do need a strong glue if you're going to do this. And I have, um, let's see. I purchased this super thick tacky glue specifically to use on this type of things. I use it on my pocket letters a lot, but I'm also going to use it to tack these down. Um, I am putting them similar to this. Um, if I decide to put them on the outside, I'll use this. If not, I will attach it to the picture. Um, see, I might want something like that so it doesn't interfere with the picture in this, you know. However, so, but I did want to show you what the completed um, page would look like.